All right. Um, oh. These are some interesting comments. Wait, you should, you, instead, you should have called it. Ob oh. oh. Oblivion Oath? Oblivion Oath. Oblivion Oath. Oblivion Oath. Oblivion Oath? Oblivion Oath. Oblivion Oath. Google Oblivion Oath Q Times YouTube channel. Boom. Oblivion Oath gameplay trailer tips and tricks life hacks. Top five SEO. I don't think SEO is a good SEO term. <laughs> <laughs>
kind of came up first is that it seems that touch AC might be gone. Completely. Completely. Which is good because that throws people off so hard that are new. Yeah. I don't know why it's so difficult to understand that it is more of a challenge to pierce armor than it is to graze armor. I mean, those are my guns, not my uh, Oh, armor, right, so. these are weapons. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're trying to sunder them. 14 to 20. <laughs> um, no, yeah, so I, I, I think I think they removed that and they changed a lot of like the ranged touch attacks yeah. to being uh, save DCs well, instead. Well, we, we saw one specifically, right? We yeah. saw chill touch mm -hmm. that now is a save instead of uh, a touch attack, but people are speculating that that's going to be everything because yes. they remove touch attacks yeah. and using just like an attack against AC goes against the idea of what a touch attack was previously, which is, it is a different kind of challenge to touch someone than it is to pierce their armor exactly. with your sword. Which makes sense, I'm super on board with it. Like it just depends on what the DCs are obviously. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think. well I, I believe that if it's a DC, it's going to be the same DC I'm an for, idiot. for all your spells. Yep, don't, don't talk to me anymore, thanks. So I think that's gonna be based off the player. Yep, <laughs> yep, that's, that's pretty fucking obvious, Krug. I don't know what you think you know, but you don't know any of it. I'm okay. gonna just go ahead and just retire off camera. Next, we have a new magical thing for clerics called Divine Lance that deals single target damage. It's a spell or a class ability or something. We're not entirely sure. It's a magical thing. Yeah. Uh, and it seems to be pretty good. They're, I mean, really low level characters, so it's gonna be something that you can access relatively early on. Yeah. You know that for a fact. Yeah, I, I mean, eh, so that's a new spell. I, I mean, there's nothing there's really- There's not really much yeah, to say Yeah, there's nothing about it. much to say other than it's, it's a new spell. It's not even that like complicated, it's damage. Yeah. And it's good damage. There you go. Also, Acid Splash uh, is 1d6 instead of 1d4, which is what it was on the play test. Right. Also, nothing a lot to that other than it's a damage boost. Um, some people uh, on the Discord were so, were kind of feeling that maybe the 1d4 was a typo. Yeah. But there was quite a few like updates and changes. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think that they just realized at the end that that probably wasn't enough, so sure. it's 1d6. Treat Wounds, which is a medicine skill, now heals the target for 2d8 and is gonna give them the bolstered condition for uh, a number of hours slash a day. Not entirely sure what that duration for the bolstered is. Not only that, it's gonna be usable in combat if you have the battle medic feat, which basically makes it in action, mm -hmm. like so you can do it in combat. It's not gonna be a, a minutes long thing, it's just one action you can heal someone 2d8, which is really cool, I think, in a pinch. Because mm -hmm. that's, I think that's something that a, like a cleric that is uh, like a, a healy cleric would be able to do. Like, oh, I'm out of reliable healing magic. I need to be able to do something to save this person. I'm also pretty sure Heal. that this was actually the sorcerer that used it. This was Owen's character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just talking like flavor wise. Oh, right? sure, like sure. Like if that's the build you're going mm -hmm. for, this is a really great option for that build. The one thing we don't know about it is if or when or how much it scales, which is yes. kind of important because 2d8 is a lot low level gets to be almost nothing. So if we kind of look at it on how the uh, battle medic before, right. uh, is it was actually 1d10, right? right, And the, the DC check was like 20, yeah. right? And then you could attempt a higher check, which was 25, and it would have been 2d10. Sure. And then it went up, like, so the DC check, so, uh, and not only did the DC check go up, but it also required you to be either you know, trained, yeah. you know how like there was like the the, yeah, like, yeah. the legendary uh, skill yeah, on yeah. that? It required both of those. So you had to have that and the DC still went up. Sure. And then you could make the attempt to at a higher. Right. We haven't seen if that's still the same. We just know that Battle Medic has changed from 1d10 to 2d8. Right. And that, uh, that is still pretty good. <laughs> and, uh, and Battle Medic sounds fun. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And like the flavor behind that's so cool. Like he, there's an arrow in his in his shoulder and then the Battle Medic runs over, pulls the arrow out, takes a wad of gauze, shoves it in, turns him around and pushes him back in the fight. Like, oh my God. I or, love or as uh, they do on the show, put a pickle in it. <laughs> Next, we learned a little bit about hero points. Um, I need a hero. <laughs> Sorry. Now, we're talking about demonetized. Uh, the, the hero points now will bring you to zero and stable yes. versus one hit point. Right, I don't like it. You don't like that? No. I, I 
I'm I don't okay like, with it. I don't ever like Zero and Stable. I, I, if they could balance the game without it, I'd prefer they get rid of Zero and Stable. I think the reason why Zero and Stable exists is because if you have characters that continually save on their DCs yep. and they come back to one hit point and then they stand up and attack versus, okay, cool, you have, you have not, you're no longer dying, you're stable. It, it kind of makes the like the fight kind of pointless because you're like, oh, if I go under by one hit point, yeah, I can just pop back up by yeah. making one save. So I think that maybe it's like a, a, a scaling thing that w with death saves, like instead of oh, you just start over again. Maybe your death saves persist until you're not in combat or until after a rest or something. I know that that probably adds a little too much tension to fights, mm -hmm. but there, I think there are other little things you can tweak to make it you know, still meaningful, still yeah. have death be an option for every character, mm -hmm. while at the same time, not having zero and stable, not having a state where you're just not doing anything, mm -hmm. not even making death saves, you're just burnt. I'm just saying as a GM who wants to TPK his entire party on a regular basis, uh, zero and stable is great. <laughs> <laughs> I've only TPK'd you once. Um, that was... <laughs> not my fault. No, I wasn't gonna say your fault. I was gonna say terrifying. I was like watching the world crumble before me. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? I was trying to help. Paladin, my bros, we got some cool stuff. Well, I mean, it's not really that exciting, actually. The AC that uh, a character would gain from Lay on Hands increased from one to two. It doubled. It doubled. Double. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. The, the AC thing is is a new like flavor mm -hmm. bit to lay on hands. Uh, and I think they're making it more useful. It's cool. Cause yeah. I, I like the flavor. So we learned all of that on session two. Mm -hmm. Session three, man, that list is long. Yeah, all right, get so ready. Session three, we learned that fatigue is a minus one to AC and all saving throws. And next, if yes. you liked the video. <laughs> yeah, that was it. There was nothing else. Yeah, that was it. Let us know what you think of the changes. Did we miss something? That would be a very important thing for you to mention to us because we will put it in the next video shamelessly. We'll just mm -hmm. be like, hey, remember this video? We meant to also add this. And we'll, we'll put your put your name on there if yeah, you want it. If you, if, want you, if you want your name on there, we will put it on there. If you want to be like, yo, don't put my name up there because for some reason I'm at work and I'm on YouTube and I'm not supposed to be we'll, and my we'll, boss will we'll, call me. We'll get rid of the, the time set. <laughs> Do they even have times? I don't even know. I don't know. Uh, my point is, I don't understand why shout outs are cool and I never ever want one, but if you want one, I'll gladly give you one. I want to shout out Krug right now because he doesn't like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let us know out in the comments if we missed anything uh, while you're down there. Also, let us know if you like the show as a whole. Like, do you want us to see? <laughs> no, no, I mean the, the going over the Oblivion you notes know, specifically. Oh, oh like, even Game Gorgon. No, no. You, well, yeah, if you hate Game Gorgon, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so like, let us know if you like it. If us. you like it, because I Tell am, me I'm pretty. I am just holding on by a string. No. Um, yeah, uh, go down in the comments. Let yeah. us know if uh, if you want us to continue covering Oblivion Oath. Yeah, um, there might not be something every episode, but yeah. if if there's something that you guys like and you want us to still get our comments and opinions about yeah. Oblivion Oath, we'll we'll continue to do it. Yeah. Uh, while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. And then head over to Twitter and talk to me. You can talk to me on Twitter at IndigoQT, and you can talk to me on Twitter at CrudeQT, or you can talk to both of us at all these places down here. All of them are really great, except for Facebook. We'll see you guys next time. We Wait, hold on. Oh. I want to do one thing. Oh, what? I would like to, and I'm going to do this on every episode this week. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Void Merch did something really amazing oh, yeah. uh, this week, and I just would like to thank them. Yeah. So um, over at Void Merch, they just randomly decided that, hey, uh, I, we really like the stuff that Q Times is doing, and so we're going to do a raffle if you follow them on Twitter and 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 screen cap it and send it on this Twitter account. And yeah. I, I I legitimately was at work and and I had to physically wipe tears away from my eyes. Please because put the Discord message you sent me on the screen. Uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. It was, I was like, how, how do I even deal with my life right now? <laughs> like, how, how do I respond to this? Uh, but uh, yes, it was amazing, it was wonderful. Yeah. And um, it, it filled my heart both, with happiness. Both Void Merge and Jordan are yeah. both uh, like just Great company and people. And, and we, we have done like a, a deal with them in the past where they like sent us merch. Actually, we... this is a void <laughs> merch. <laughs> Mine is not a void merch shirt. 
<laughs> this I is forgot. You didn't even do that on purpose. No, I didn't. We we did it. We did that with them, right? And that was like a deal between the two of us. And we told you, like, hey, they sent us these for free. Go and check them out. We genuinely like their product. Yes. Like, if you want to wear nice shirts that are funny and like poignant. Uh, they're a great place to do your clothing shopping. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, something that they're doing right now is if you buy some of their, they've got a couple of uh, shirts that are uh, like trans rights specifically. Yes. Shirts. If you buy them, the profits for that is actually going to a trans uh, um, uh, nonprofit. And uh, that's awesome. So go do it. Go yeah. support them and what they're doing. It's it's amazing. You know, the funny thing is when he posted that tweet, he said like, oh, this isn't like a Q Times sponsored thing. They didn't like tell me to do this. I just think they're rad. And that like warmed the cockles of my heart. But now that we're saying this in this episode, it's going to be more difficult for people to believe that I don't this give a shit. wasn't all. I don't give I a shit. I also don't give a shit. Give a I'm shit. not saying I give a shit. I'm just pointing out. Yeah, yeah, no. I think it's funny. I don't I don't care that it was such a nice thing for them to do. And it made me feel so good that uh, we're, I just wanted to mention it. Yeah. So. Right here, right on. I'm super down to do that every episode.